What's up guys, Holland Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. You guys know what time it is. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna talk about why did uh, why are legs, leg grabbing banned in judo? Okay, so the short answer is essentially, <clears throat> they were in danger of getting kicked out of the Olympics. That's it because it looked, looked too much like wrestling. And I don't understand the logic of that, so I know like we're gonna argue about it like in the, in the comments, or at least we're gonna have back and forth, a whole bunch of people are gonna chime in and give their two cents on it, but essentially, that's it. It's, uh, I got this from uh, one of Shaddy's videos. If you guys don't know who Shaddy is, like he does amazing work on, um, uh, on his channel. He's a YouTuber also, but he's focused, highly focused on on judo specifically, but then all the other grappling arts as well, because he's a judoka himself, and he goes into a lot of the history and the differences, history of judo and the differences uh, between judo, uh, you know, old judo, new judo, kosen judo, judo versus this, judo versus that. Not versus, but you know, um, like comp when you compare uh, things, and it's really interesting. So I got that from him, and so I listened to that whole video. Uh, I'll link it down below because it was really uh, it's worth listening to. Uh, I personally listened to his videos at 2x. I actually listened to everybody at 2x because that way I could go through like the content faster and get more information quick, quick. And um, yeah, so so I would suggest you guys uh, if if you guys are are because you know some videos sometimes are like half an hour, and if you want to cut that time in half, you listen to 2x. It might be weird at the beginning. I know I'm going off tangent here, this guy. Like I'm going off, you know. Uh, but that's me. So yeah, two exit. That's it. You get used to it. After that, like you could just listen to everything two X. But the, the funny thing is that after that, you listen to somebody talk normal speed, and it's just slow as heck. It's like, yeah, it's kind of weird that way. But uh, anyways, that's the, going back to why you can't grab uh, leg grab. You can't grab the legs and all that. And and, and judo is because I forgot what year. I'm gonna, I'm, you're gonna have to watch that video. But essentially, at one point they were threatened to be uh, taken out, kicked out of the Olympics because uh, it resembled too much uh, to wrestling. But that, to me, like I've, I've watched some of those old matches and it looks spectacular, it looks amazing, it looks nothing like wrestling, you know? But the fools who, you know, like were, were, uh, were, were being, you know, for a lack of a better term, anal about it, <clears throat> you know, I'll, like we're gonna take out judo if you guys keep grabbing the legs or whatnot. Like, yeah, that's kind of, it's so, so weird to me because it doesn't look the same at all and it looks so much cooler and it's so much more complete. And uh, yeah, those rolls are amazing, man. We can grab the legs and all and you could counter someone, just pick them up and slam them on their head. Insane, insane, insane. Okay, so, and oh, here's the thing. With, with uh, Jigoro uh, Kano, Kano, sorry. Jigoro, I always say, it. I'm, I'm not saying it right. But anyways, yeah, Jigoro uh, uh, Kano, the founder of judo, he wanted it to be in the Olympics because he wanted it to be a sport that would be practiced like worldwide, you know, international, uh, as many people as possible. And that's why it was important for the sport, in, like from my understanding, to be in the Olympics so that, you know, all the other countries have something to do. Because when it's in the Olympics, it's every four years, and then uh, this country trains, this country trains, everybody trains, and then we meet up four years and we see who's the best at it. So it's more, uh, there's, a, there's a structure that's gonna be put in place in every country when, uh, for that sport, when it's actually an Olympic sport, you know? And then there's the IOC, the International Olympic Committee, which, you know, like, I think they, they help out too. I'm not sure how that works, you know? Um, but, so that's a good thing that it's still in the Olympics or else we might not have have judo uh, in the Olympics, right? But at the same time, it's kind of a sucky thing that you can grab the legs. Now, let me tell you guys a funny story. I used to think and uh, uh, that, uh, oh, and I've heard this, and I think I read it somewhere too, that the reason why they banned leg locks, uh, no, no, not leg locks, sorry, leg attacks, like double legs, single legs, grabbing the legs and all that in judo was because the Russians and the Americans were winning you know, because they kept on tackling essentially like the, the Japanese team. And then, so I was, I, I thought that because of that, the Japanese uh, team was ultra pissed and they were like, well, this is our sport. We're just, we're just gonna change the rules because you know, they didn't want to lose. 
uh, that way because like wrestling is super deep and super strong in uh, what you call it um, in, in Russia and of course in, in, in the States too. But then I found out recently, funny thing is that I found out Japan is actually very good at wrestling too. <laughs> so I think that, 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 that thought that I had regarding that, whoever told me that or wherever I got that from, uh, not necessarily true. Um, but yeah, that's what I used to believe. So I used to believe that because the Japanese were losing, because they were being taken down, uh, th they were getting double legged by the Russians and, 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 the, and the Americans, that that's why they changed the rule set so that it would uh, give them an advantage and uh, you know, so that they could win. But it uh, turns out that's not what it is, guys. It's, uh, it's actually just a political thing in a sense that uh, they were about to uh, get kicked out of the Olympics uh, from what I gather. Uh, because it was too similar to ju uh, to wrestling, which is like doesn't make sense at all. Because even when you grab the legs, it doesn't look like wrestling at all. Like uh, I don't know, it's kind of weird. So whoever whoever that fool was who was complaining about that in the Olympic Committee or whatever, then uh, hey, whatever, man. I, I I hope one day they'll bring it back. It would be cool and it would change completely the way uh, everybody trains and all. Which is, but I don't know. Well, anyways. Enough of me talking and blabbing. All right, what do you guys think down below? Am I right? Am I wrong? Let me know down below. What do you guys think? Is it, is it making a comeback? I heard it's making a comeback. Do you guys want it to make a comeback? Hey, by the way, Shintaro Higashi actually in one of his videos talking about this, he actually said that like he would, he's dreaming of something. He just had this crazy idea where you could just grab, you could do leg attacks one time during a match. So that way, you know, it, it allows for people to train for it. Uh, to bring that back into the sport, but also like you can't overdo it either, right? You can't just be doubling, double, like just just go after somebody's legs nonstop like that. Um, but uh, anyways, I just wanted to put out put that out there. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, please like, comment uh, down below, and of course uh, sharing the video helps me grow even faster. And also, if you guys are interested in coaching, need any kind of help, want to reach me. Everything is down below. You guys could uh, set up a call if you want. You know, I do that for, for clients who I train, uh, you know, for, you know, fitness and, and health and all that stuff because I'm also a personal trainer, guys. <laughs> all right, guys. Peace. Love you.